guys, what's up? It's Corey. Um, yeah, I don't mean to yell, but I gotta use my other mic because the my original mic broke. Actually, at the start of this freaking recording, so I had to switch it and I lost my controller. Where the hell did my controller go? So look, I tried to switch one goddamn thing, and everything goes to hell. Okay, I got it. We are literally in hell, so it's kind of ironic. All right, uh, let's get this game on the road. Want to get it done and over with already? And I do apologize for the audio in episode five. Um, it got corrupted when I tried to. What if you get to the end of the line? Responding. I mean, what then? Really do about it. Maybe there is a way out. And I just can't find it yet. Or maybe it's through here. In the heart of the darkness. It's gonna be or maybe I'm quiet just walking into a trap. Because it's the blue snowball. And for some reason it picks up my voice really low and I just gotta boost it whenever I add it to this clip. Oh hey look, a shell.
That's where the cannon shell head. Okay. This is the heart of the darkness. It's where the creature oh, dwells. The darkness. The creature dwells. I think this is the end of the line. Yeah, you can say that. Don't let it win. Let's do it. Stop it! 
for now. But Jackie... With each life you take, I grow closer to owning your soul! Well... Alright then. Jackie has to we'll see how that goes now, won't we? Wake up! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> I, I can't. I, I can only walk. You know what would be neat? If people had flying cars. It would also be neat if I had a clue what you were talking about. I'm just saying, where's my flying car? I thought we had them by now. They're called planes. Uh, no, I mean a car you could park in your garage. Dipshit. You know, when I was a kid, I was going to invent a flying car. So why didn't you? Well, I got sidetracked. Well, that doesn't surprise me. It's a full-time job being a sewage worker. I'm sorry. A sanitation technician. I should have invented a flying car. I would have made millions. But every time you try to invent something, it turns out like shit. Remember that robot you made? What was it called? The Robomatic 2000? It was 3000, actually. It would have worked fine if I had some operating capital. It was made out of cardboard. That's just to save money on the prototype. And Lenny had to sit inside operating it. So what's wrong with that? Well, maybe I don't have what the foresight of a brilliant at? inventor such as yourself, but it seems to me that you were pretty far off anything near a working right, design. That's not fair. The Lenny dependency was a design flaw, but nothing that couldn't have been resolved. Hmm. Did you ever think about using a material other than cardboard, like Kevlar or something? Yeah, to protect Lenny. <laughs> That's brilliant. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way at 90 miles an hour through the Midtown Tunnel, with a guy who can't speak a lick of English, my buddy, Crazy Abdul. a couple of weeks in a dark place he wouldn't understand mystery man huh pretty much well you sure made some waves son the chicago boys are considering pulling the plug on your dear old uncle paulie yeah. he's on his knees ready to suck whatever dick he can so he won't freeze his assets he's holed up not even butcher knows where schroed's people mentioned mother of god now, I think it had something to do with the administration in Chicago. You know anything about that? Uh, strange. He and Paulie got religious? Run the name with Butcher. <laughs> He's gonna shit in his britches. When you show up, you're supposed to be dead. So go see Butcher. He should be over Aunt Sarah's. He's, uh, helping around with some stuff or some shit. I, I don't know. This is the part where they have are perfect. So shall you be allowed into heaven. Yeah, want to kill you. So shall you.
I stuffed my face. Got nothing to say, Jackie? I swear to God, if he says anything about Crazy Abdul. Okay, good. that eclipse they were talking about on the news. Yeah, just feels weird. Whatever it is, it's big. I feel like a penguin trying to stop a runaway polar bear. I think a penguin can pull it off. Canal Street. Akash Gar, he came back and stole my harmonica. Where'd he go? He went down the Lower East Side. Oh man, me and him are gonna fight. I like how he knows where he's where. I think how he knows where he went when he was on the ground holding his hand. Way too obvious. I figured it had to be something else. Now I knew that Aunt Sarah and Butcher were ready to see Schrote and Paulie's asses on a platter. I've already got an opening. Maybe they can help turn it into a gaping hole. Let's do it.
really? You really gonna do that to me? Drive me crazy. <sighs> I love the way a subway smells. A combination of garbage, piss, and a burning motor. Especially in the heat of summer. Yep, that's weird. Okay. Luckily, it's not summer. If it was summer and people are still wearing fucking sweaters, there's a problem. Hey, dude. Good boy, Jackie Estacado. I won't forget what you done for me here. Anything else? That all you. All right, I want to hear it. Damn, he's good. He's good. I don't know where they. You're in a big fucking hurry to go now. All you're gonna do is go over there and turn on. going to shit, I'm telling you. Jackie? Jackie? Is that you? 
Calm this down. problem with your Uncle Paulie has gone on long enough, Jackie. It's time to take action. I, love you, Nan Aunt. <laughs> I think the decision has just about made itself anyway, what with the way he's been carrying on. Now, some old friends of the family want to know what they can do to him. Eddie Schroeder's guy said something about the Mother of God. It was supposed to be an inside joke, but it meant something. Now, I think there's some kind of connection to the Chicago family's something Paulie wants to keep to himself. Mother of God? Like the Virgin Mary? You don't suppose he's talking about the Santa Maria? Mm -hmm. That's a Chicago family boat. It's been running shipments of drugs into the harbor for years. Knowing Eddie, he wouldn't resist a chance to talk about it to a dying man. <laughs> He always did have diarrhea in the mouth. Especially if there's something big going on. Chicago family's gonna be real interested in what happens here, Jackie. This is gonna be your best chance to get Paulie out of the picture for good. Just say the word. And I'll help if I can. He took a side. I wanna know more about this Santa Maria, Butch. Anything there I can use against Paulie? Listen, Jackie. I would never normally say this. <clears throat> you know me. I never choose sides. Oh, we know. But you already put a hole in Paulie's finances when you took out Dutch Oven Harry's operation. You put a few holes in that boat, Santa Maria. <laughs> the Chicago family's gonna pull a plug, and Paulie'll find himself swimming to the bottom of the river. I need to know how to mess up Paulie's deal. They got people inside the Coast Guard. They usually wait for the coast to clear, and they call a Santa Maria in from the harbor to make a shipment. <clears throat> There's a radio they use down at Grinders Lane, tuned to the correct frequency at all times. <clears throat> you get to that radio and call in, They'll send the boat. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now you do what Butcher says. The boat's name is Santa Maria. You should go to Grinders Lane and find that radio. Alright, when the hell are they gonna hit Aunt Sarah's house? Garbage, piss, right. and a burning motor. Ignoring the fact that this is a cutscene, especially in the heat of sun. He's standing in a dark room with a light above him, talking to himself. I don't know if anybody has realized that. Blamer, I would too. Is he that bored? We're gonna fall. Canal Street. See you, Stan. Let's see if you know what it takes. So much money. It almost seems like I know where I'm going. During the war, they used to have this saying, loose lips sink ships. Now I know what they mean. 
And soon, the Chicago families will know, too. All I need is that radio to call in their boat. Oh, yeah. Dude, where the hell's the mailbox?
You can bring in the boat. Everything's clear. Over. Affirmative. We are coming in. subway station. Ah. My Uncle Paulie brought me down here on vacation one nope. time. Count the trains. Nope. Best two days me and him ever spent together. That sucks. Two days just to count the freaking trains? Good God. Get to go thing or something to me. That's so sad. Then I voted against it. I don't like it here. like a chair or something. Like I'm getting uncomfortable just looking at you. Oh, oh. Darkness light. Darkness light. Dude, you are just hauling ass. Where is Hey Jack, you heard the police got pity pajamas though. Now, what about him? What happened is, the cops brought him in, they took him down in the basement to do a kind of impromptu Q&A with him, you know what I'm saying? Playing 20 questions. The problem with Pete is this, he's weak. He's real weak. 
You give him some fucking Indian burns and he'll squeal like a stuffed pig. But Pete, he knows stuff. Jackie, we need to shut that little piece of shit up. You know what I'm saying? No. Well, he's bound to tell those cops he's gonna leak down to Paulie, and if that happens, whoa, that's bad for all of us. All right. Where are they keeping him? Yeah, but that's the problem. We don't know where the fuck he is. We got a door number and that's it. You gotta keep your eye open for door 261, you hear me? Okay. Where, where though? Like, 261, what street? Yeah, that's not telling me either. That's awesome. Sorry, mine, you're right. It's a telephone. That's the spirit, kid. Now you listen to me. That boat Santa Maria. <laughs> Waiting for you down at Pier 19. You put a few holes in that boat, the Chicago people will get Paulie out of the picture for good. You need to put a bullet right between the boat captain's eyes. Go take care of business now, kid. Well, now where the hell is Pier 19? Huh? You know, you are not helpful, slightest. New York Transit Service, how can I help you, sir? Uh, Pier 19. To reach Pier 19, you have to go through Lower East. At Canal Street, follow the signs leading to the Lower East Side exit. Then follow Thompson Street, and then turn left to Clark Street. At the end of Clark Street, you'll find a tunnel that leads to Pier 19. Thank you. I got this. Please tell me he's sitting down. Speaking of sitting down, did you guys see the, uh, the, tr the new trailer for it? Oh my god, it looks so badass. I'm not even gonna act like I knew what the hell they were talking about. I'm just gonna keep walking. Now where am I? Right there. Okay, well, that's not that hard. <laughs> I won't have any commentary to it, but I'll still probably post it. Like, it's really that hard to hit a goddamn light. You're a giant freaking arm. The job's not worth doing. Unless you do it right. Paulie's a dead man. Unless he grows a beard and learns how to speak Swahili. Or he won't get a chance. Not for as long as I draw breath. Because Paulie Franchetti tells me where I gotta be. But when he tells me to watch out for his mother of God mode or whatever, that's right. I, I got a bomb! I got a bomb!
freaking car. Episode 6. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, really don't have a whole lot, but episodes of Wild is going to be a long episode compared to the other ones I just recorded. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to finish this gameplay today, and I'll upload the, the uh, videos probably today and tomorrow. Maybe Monday, too, because then the next day, Darkness 2 comes out. So excited. Not really. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I love you.